Today's Forden's big announcement. Wonder what he's planning. I guess the church has to have some reaction to all that stuff the king said. Whatever it is, Luis won't be able to just ignore it. This might be a day that goes down in history. Ladies and gents, lend me your ears. Sanctifex Forden has spoken. The giant face in the sky, the massive rocks appearing throughout the land, and the mysterious voice claiming to be the past king. The Sanctus Church has officially recognized these happenings as the will of His Royal Majesty. <gasps> so it really is His Majesty. And so, as His Majesty has decreed, Whoever has gained the greatest trust of the people by the day of decision shall be our new king. This is a historic moment, good citizens. It's revolutionary. It's unprecedented. No matter who you are, you can take the throne. Anyone? Even me. If, and this is a big if, you are the person that all our people trust most in their hearts. Maybe you could be king yourself, eh? You're popular enough. Me? In charge? <laughs> well, that's the last thing this country needs. Right, let's review what we know, shall we? First, the new faces that have appeared on the rock. It shows us who's foremost in the running. We've worked out that much. The top three of the lot are also shown in the sky. Suppose that way you can see their inspiring faces anytime, anywhere. Hold on. How's us common folks supposed to stand a chance against all these upper crusters? Say you do become popular. With your face clear for all to see, surely that'd make you a prime target for assassination. Not quite, friend. Not quite. A valid concern, but one His Majesty prepared for. Popular aspirants, at least those who make it onto the rock, are protected by royal magic. Assassinations off the table. Magic chains will spring to life and bind anyone who tries. I saw it happen with my own eyes to Count Luis's sorry assailant. So, literally anyone could be king? Even a pauper? Or a slave? Or a criminal? But hold on, you mean to say we might not be ruled by Clamar? What does that mean for us? Right, I've said my piece. You know all I know. Now go forth, ladies and gents, and spread the word! Whether you're from our fair capital or the middle of nowhere, the crown's within your grasp. Anyone in the land could be our next king! I heard the announcement. The church has chosen to recognize this face's words as crown sent and shall abide by them. They conceded that one quickly. Though I suppose it's a hard thing to deny, what with the royal palace hanging up there in the clouds. Had they rushed a coronation for his eminence, Forden, it would have dashed any hope of reinstating his highness. A small comfort. I can tell from your face there's some bad news too. Do you recall those chains that froze Alsace in place? It seems that too was part of his majesty's magic, plainly. Any candidates of sufficient favor cannot be deposed by force. That's not good. No, tis not indeed. This marks Luis as nigh untouchable. I will still seek to find him. Yet, even should we stand before the man himself, we could not kill him. No! If we can't kill him, then how do we break the curse? What the hell was the king thinking? Grius was trying to save his son. He died for it. Even so, without this magic, no aspirant would be safe from assassination, leaving Luis to dominate through sheer martial strength. <sighs> we appear to be at an impasse. Everyone, have you seen Maria? Did something happen? I checked her room and she isn't there. She wouldn't just leave without telling anyone. I... I couldn't deal with losing both of them. I... I'll go look for her. You... you will? Thank you. When I think of what might happen to her... If she left her room on her own, she must have had some reason. Let's go search for her. 
If we head into town, we might find some clues. Where? You're kidding! 